Welcome back to another edition of the Electrician's Two Channel. Today I just want to shine some light on some specialty tools that I think that as an apprentice uh, you may want to get and add to your tool uh, collection. I think they're very important. Uh, these are the type. These are the kind of tools that you may not use every day, but you're glad that you had them. You know, at your. Uh, I mean, that they're accessible to you, and, and that you have them inside of your tool bag somewhere, either in the truck or somewhere, somewhere near. Now, this is not all of them, but this is some of them. I think I didn't have the room to put all the little specialty tools that you uh, may uh, want to acquire and place in your tool bag. Now, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go through the list of these and I'll just try to, to explain what they could be used for and what I use, use them for. And you may, uh, you may or may not uh, agree, but, uh, and this may, this may help some of you, uh, some of you, uh, uh, well, even your old heads who've been out there a long time, if you see something in here that you like or you may need, well, you know, go get it. But this this video is mainly for the, uh, the 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 apprentices, electrical apprentices just coming up, and uh, they're trying to find their way uh, in this electrical field. They want to know what tools to buy and things like that. Well, maybe I can help you out with that. So let's get started. We're going to start right here in the front with with this 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 tool right here. This is a fuse puller. I know they have several models out there. They, they have some by, uh, I think Klein have some, Ideal have some, and uh, Greenlee I think have some. But these are by uh, Bus, made by Bus, and uh, B-U-S-S. -S. And the number is, uh, category number is P, wait, uh, FP-2, I guess that's fuse puller-2. And it's a bus fuse puller. And this is really, it's, it's real sturdy. This is the cat number right here, yeah. There you go. The reason, the reason why I purchased this one, because it's a little bit more uh, solid, or should I say sturdier, than the others that I've seen. I do have, I think I have one by Ideal, the yellow ones. And I do use them if need be, but I prefer these in my hand. I just, I just like how, how sturdy they are and how I can close them like pliers. If I had to grip around a fuse, you know, I got a secure grip on that fuse. But these are some fuse pullers that you may uh, look into having. And as I, uh, I'm trying to move them out of the way as I show you. Second, these screwdrivers. I have a set of these, uh, four come in a pack, and I bought them from Weha. And um, these are uh, screw holding um, screwdrivers. You put it up like that, and you put the screw head in there, and in, in there, you, let, you know, you don't let it slam like that, but you let go. And it's just to start the screw. And once you start it, and without it falling, the screw falling down, you may be working this out of a panel. That's in a machine that, that you, didn't, you can't turn the machine off. The last thing you want to do is drop a screw on some hot contacts that, that's at the bottom or transformers around that's, that's, that's hot. And so these are some screw, you know, screw holding uh, screwdrivers. So like I said, you put it in there and you get it started. Once you get it started, where you release it, then you, if you want, you could use the same screwdriver uh, or get you another screwdriver, but the screw hadn't failed. You didn't lose the screw. So these are screw screw holding uh, screwdrivers by Weha. I have a set of four. I just put these two out here for the for the uh, sake of space. So uh, this is a number. Uh, I think this is a number th two. Uh, number two, Philip. Yeah, and this is a number one common. And I have two more. I think it's a number zero common and uh, number uh, one, Philip. This one right here is an angle. Um, it's angled. Um, I think the, came, the proper name they have for this from Klein, but it's by Klein Tools. And this, is, if you see, the head of it is angled. And the reason why I use this, this is nice because, and I, I, I say this one is a tool that you may want to look into because when you're working inside of a box, and sometimes the insulation, you may want to cut a piece of the insulation off. Well, you can. It's kind of hard to get in there with a regular pair of ply uh, strippers to, you know. So you use this. You get in there. 
what Romex, if you're using Romex or whatever you're using, you want to peel insulation off. You put this inside of the box and peel it off. There you go. Uh, and this also cut strip, uh, also cut bolts and rethread uh, threaded bolts in here. Have the wire benders right here. This is and uh, they pretty feel pretty good in the hand too. But this is something that you might want to look into. It's angle angle wire strips. I think it's something like that by Klein. But the number on here, category number on here. Like I tell you what, let me get my glasses right quick because I nah, I've been using this magnifying glass right here. No, I'm going for the sake of time. Uh, 10 2. Okay, category number is uh, K90 10 slash 2. Okay, let me give you guys take a look at that. If you can see it, that's my Klein tools. Um, let's look at this. This is a self tapper right here. You're gonna to want to do get this. Some uh, you want to get you one of these, and the reason why you I, I I like to use this mainly because if I have to ground a panel, uh, ground a, a panel, electrical panel, uh, they don't have um, a um, a place to ground it where you can make your own hole and make your threads. Or if you're working on any kind of box and the threads um, are stripped, where you can rethread it with this, or make the hole a little bit bigger and re-thread it with this for the size screw that you have or the size screw that it will make another hole for the same size screw that you just took out, whatever. But it's always good to have this. And this has two sides on it. You just release it like this and go to the other side. And you got one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. You have six sizes on here. So you may want to get your hand on something like this. This is very important to have. So this is a, a, a threader, a self-tapper. You want that. Okay, and this works the same as this. Remember I say it depends on what, what, what kind of cable that you may be, insulation may be peeling off certain types of wire. Let's just suppose if it's a, it may be a single wire that's in there that you want to uh, uh, peel the insulation from. Well, you could use this, but it's kind of difficult. You see the front right here. It's kind of too big unless you're using bigger wire. Uh, it said 10 2 on here, so I guess they, they mean it. That's the only side of the fit. But this is self adjusting, and uh, you put the you know, you can size the wire up first and loosen the screw down so that you know where the blades are touching the wire, how deep you want it to go. And you set it, kind of lock it in there. Same thing, you put it in there, put, put it in there, peel the insulation off. There you go. That's why I got this. So these two, you know, work hand in hand for me. This is a, a reamer. Now, I, I used to use my uh, pliers and, and uh, needle nose pliers. In certain situations, I still do. Uh, if I'm up on a ladder and I didn't, you know, I already, uh, I got a pair in my pocket. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna get down off the ladder just to get these and go back up and ream it. I use uh, my needle nose pliers. But if I know that's what I'm going to do, you know, well, I have this in my bag and I ream it out real good. Uh, the, the good thing about it, I like, I like the sizes. And this, when you use something like this, this does a real good job on reaming, e, reaming out uh, EMT. Uh, you can't use it on rigid. This is used on soft metal and uh, whatever they call EMT. And this is what I do. This is what I use. Uh, it's Klein. Uh, the number is 89, I mean 85191. 85191. It's by Klein 2. And this is a reamer right here. This, I don't know the name of this, but I bought this from uh, Walmart. And uh, I bought this one, and this one, you know, this one will do me just fine because it's, it's not often that I'm doing, uh, working in old houses. You know, I do commercial, but I'm not working in old houses. I bought this to pull nails and staples out of out of the wood. If I'm running, kind of, I mean, I kind of, if I'm running uh, wire, Romex or whatever, the last thing I want is for me to, uh, you know, rip the wire up or get short up some kind of way or, or, or nails or uh, uh, staples to be in my way. So that's why I got this to peel the old staples out of uh, the wall that may, that may be in the line of my run or what have you. So this is a good thing to have. I think I paid something like $5 for it. Uh, Klein have them. If you choose to get the one by Klein, $30 something dollars or $40. Uh, 
it may be 50 not sure but this five dollars worked fine for me so and it does the same thing with the one Klein does so i got this from walmart they don't have a name on it but i think it's out it's, it's made by that uh what walmart brand they have uh Oh my goodness, it escapes, it escapes my mind. But Walmart, I got this from Walmart. Okay, this one is a number two Robinson. You may want get, to get, get you one of these because a lot of circuit breakers, you know, they look like they're made for a Phillips screwdriver uh, but or, or a common screwdriver. You can use a common, but very seldom you'll find one with the, uh, with the lug on it that you tighten up with a Phillips. Uh, they most of them be com common, flat, or common or flat, um, but most of them are Robinson tips on it too. So you may want to invest in one of these also. This is a number two, and this fits right inside of uh, that square, the ones with the square that you made. To some people, it look like it's a Phillip, but it's not. It's, it's, it's a Robinson. So you want to get one of these, and there you go. I have one of these uh, by Weha as a um, um, insulated. And I have this one. I have also uh, I have a Zeno driver. That's the one that's made with the little I think it's a little square on it, with the two wings on the front. Now, uh, different man two manufacturers call them different names. I think we have call them a Zeno driver. Klein may call them something else. I can't think of the name of them. And uh, Milwaukee has one. I can't think of the name of the term the term that they call theirs too. But I have one of those by Milwaukee, and I have one uh, by uh, Weha, and it's the ones by Weha are insulated. But you, these are the type of kind of tools I've been telling you about that you, that you want to get yourself. And you want to stack up on a lot of specialty tools because you're going to be running into those kind of problems as an electrician. This right here is, you know, this is a, a, a folding ruler. Well, you might look at this and say, why do you have a fold folding ruler? Y'all, some of you old timers who've been out there a while, you know, uh, I use this thing when I was bending conduit, when I bend conduit. It stands up sturdy enough for me. You know, when I'm standing up, if I want to, I can look at it. Uh, Sometimes a, um, a tape measure, they, they folding or the wind taking it or whatever. But this is always have, have stood up sturdy for me. Or if I'm, or if I'm measuring uh, a tape measure with a tape measure, you putting it out like that, they come become flimsy. They may bend all the time and whatever. But I've been using folding rulers for a long time since I've been an electrician. And uh, like I said, those of you been in the, been in the field a long time, you know about the folding rulers. So uh, this is this is this is why I use this to bend my conduit offsets and thirty you know thirty and, and things like that. So that's this. So you may want to invest in one of these too. Uh, this right here is for my PVC. I uh, I want to cut this PVC. I cut my PVC like this. Well, with this, sometimes I can use a hacksaw, or sometimes I can use a. a, a a sawzall that's even quicker, but sometimes you don't have all that kind of stuff around. But this is really nice if I'm you I'm cutting half inch or whatever size. This is really nice. I cut it right quick, and that's that. So, uh, you know, and um, that's that. I, I get it done. So, not to make this video any long, I just want to make this short video to let you guys see, uh, you know, what I do. I mean, some of my tools, what I have, and uh, what I use my specialty tools. So. I hope you I hope you got something from the video. I hope you appreciate it. And if you do, man, hit this hit the like button to help the channel grow. Hit the subscribe button, share the video, and all that good stuff. And until next time, you guys take care and uh, leave your comments. Also, take care and uh, peace out.